Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 20, Thoughts. This episode is called Emancipation. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So, yeah. Um, last episode I made a snide comment about how I didn't see that it mattered. That Captain America Civil War, you know, yeah. Episode before this one was set right before that. And this episode, I, let's see, F? I guess or during uh, let's see. yeah some something like that yeah I appreciate the you know mea culpa they did actually manage to make that really really relevant to this episode and yeah I found this very very compelling exploration of you know the Civil War is one of my favorite MCU movies movies in general but I do think this episode already does a better job, like, getting into, you know, it's, that's a movie, and it's very much focused on delivering action scenes, you know, it can't get into the, the details of it, and I really appreciate here, we're starting to see some more detail, and I gotta say, um, when... So Coulson is sitting in a bar, and in walks Talbot. That really reminded me of like the the post credit scene. I think it was supposed to be of the Incredible Hulk, just you know, with the roles reversed. You know, the the military guy who just lost something, and in walks this you know smug. Avengers affiliated person, yeah, and yeah, very cool that that's the that's the entrance, the the elevator. So they took some inspiration, perhaps from that Hydra place from season one, I guess it was. And they actually have Daisy say, "I'm in." Yeah, you you know, it's like. She's a hacker. At some point, she's going to say it. I forget if this is the first time. Anyway, um, I like Rad Dr. Radcliffe is like, you know, we'll, we'll sleep when we're dead. That's just, I'm, I don't mean that you, Daisy, are going to die. It's just things. Bro. Hive, for the record, I'd just like to submit a proposal. I don't think anybody has to die here, you know. It's, yeah, I, I it's very fun. He's... He's a mad scientist, but he's also working for a matter science experiment. And yeah, so May and Lincoln talk again, and the the yeah, um, it again. There's there's still some some friction there. I really appreciate you know she brings him some food and like she makes a credit you know she says something like it's feeding time or something and he's like we gotta work on your sense of humor because that places it in our memory oh May is bringing him food so later when she says I was communicating with him through secret messages when I brought you know it, yeah actually I don't think she said when I brought food but you know when he was given food yeah, you know, she, I, I don't think it's supposed to be that she personally delivered food every single time, but each time she made sure that there was a hidden hidden message there, and, you know, Gemma also is like, why are we feeding him, you know, so it's, it's in our mind that, you know, they are making sure he gets food, and May is, you know, part of that, and yeah, you know, he's been looking for a way to make it up to them, so... It does make, it's just, I, I really love that twist. That was so good that they actually had, you know, after, it, it really did look like he was 100% on board, which, yeah, Daisy can hack into any camera. So, you know, you have to put on a, a convincing act. Let's see. 
and um, I have to. Okay, yeah, and and the um. Yeah, the the um, yeah, Fitzsimmons are are made to to work on figuring out Hive's plan. You know, they can't keep Daisy out forever. Which you know, by the end of the episode, they are much closer to you know they they understand some of his plan. I really enjoyed. Uh, Elena showing her, you know, okay, so Elena, show Talbot your powers, and, you know, it's, there's like a, a second or two, and he's like, any, any second, you know, any, any time, and she's got the, the thing from his, his chest, from the, because of his military service, or title, something like that, that was very fun, like, she didn't have to go for that specifically, you know. It could have been anything, but she specifically, you know, chose to to grab something that he would not want to. So, so yeah, very fun. And let's see, yeah, and I I will say it was very very cool, very clever with. You know, Daisy hacks in, and at first, you know, she doesn't get a, a camera feed to him immediately. At first, she she gets like um, some some kind of sports ball thing on on his TV, and it says, "I'm here, I'm listening." And you know, yeah, in the long term, later on, she does manage to to hack in so much that, yeah. And, yeah, so Lincoln meets back up with, with Talbot, and he's like, what, what's he doing in here? I thought this was a germ-free zone, which is an excellent, uh, yeah, I see you remember each other, you know, and, and, yeah, you know, Talbot did see Lincoln in action, and it wasn't the most flattering, so, yeah. And yeah, and and Elena and Mac have a discussion on faith, which is quite good. And Lincoln actually wants to to register with. So yeah, as as long as it gets him out of there. The Rasta Hulk is her husband. Was a great line. And, yeah, I, I do really appreciate, you know, Talbot's one of those that we kind of love to hate. I will say, it was very clever of him, this thing of, yeah, he gave Coulson a chance. You know, I wanted to see if you would lie to my face. And, yeah, um, Hive pretended to be ATCU to get a message to, to watch dogs so that they would follow James who's apparently like he he broke out his ghost rider cosplay for for the occasion and then we have the yeah uh, and and yeah super cool as he takes you know yeah attacks with the with the fire chain and let's see yeah and and you know Talbot has a line something like this is why the Sokovia Accords exist and yeah that is you know that again the the Civil War the movie you know ultimately comes down on the side of of Rogers and yeah that movie kind of makes the case you know no it it this is a mistake kind of thing 
but here, you know, yeah, if they hadn't been able to to make the play with with Lincoln, yeah, Daisy being having turned evil is extremely dangerous for them. And she's continuing to very much act like, you know, as yeah, like like an addict protecting her dealer. You know, that was also that explains the cruelty, verbal cruelty she showed in the episode before this one when talking to Mac. And and yeah, they the virus is explained and yeah, holy crap. And yeah, so we hear these horrible screams and then they stop. And yeah, the the primitives are legitimately like fantastic makeup. Like the the just yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and and the let's see. Yeah, and you, you should rest, because I need more blood. <laughs> Which, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, it, you know, sometimes Hive is just brutally honest about where his head's at. <laughs> I like the, you know, Daisy says, we're going to need, you know, you can get out of there, but you're going to need to MacGyver your way out of the cell. MacGyver, not Firestarter. I think you'd make a decent MacGyver, Luke Mitchell. Uh, you know, there was apparently a MacGyver show um, somewhat recently. Let's see. Um, I can't spell MacGyver, apparently. There we go. Um, yeah, so let's see. 2016 to 2021. The fact that Lucas Till is the one playing MacGyver really makes me want to watch it. I thought he was so good in the X-Men movies. So, yeah, I 100% I understand following the... Yeah, him him being the lead character in some things. Yeah. And then we have the... Yeah, it is very clever with the, the loop. You know, she she got it from we we know Daisy watches movies. She got it from this movie where the the speed had to exceed a certain limit, and if the speed dropped, the bus would explode. Uh, the the bus that wouldn't slow down. There's something along those lines. And yeah, right. And then we go back. I think you overcooked them, Doc. Which yeah, that's uh, yeah. And. Yeah, Lincoln is headed to the the jet, and yeah, I I quite like the the doctor admitting, you know, I, I obviously I'm gonna beg next time as well, but still, you know, let's let's see, and are you still confident? 100% fairly certain. And let's see, then we have the. Um, yes, I, I love the. There's this short little bit of tension when, you know, Daisy's helping with the. That was also like, poor Mac, he's just trying to help. You know, and I, I like. I guess I'm okay. I'm starting to think I may not be the Inhuman Whisperer. Yeah, this is this is two pretty significant failures in a very short amount of time. I I'm afraid you might be right about that. You know, but very clever. You know, he's like, well, if Daisy can see through the camera, I'll take out the camera. You know, just it's it's very, you know, Mac. He doesn't really screw around. If, if he thinks he has the the answer to something, he's gonna go do it. Let's see, and, but, but yeah, you know, there's this brief moment of tension where, you know, Daisy's been helping Lincoln, and we see her at the, at the computer, and she, like, turns around when Hive enters, and for, like, us, a couple of seconds, you're like, Hive's gonna realize that she's been helping Lincoln, 
and then she, you know, she says a, a line or two, and it's clear, oh, he knew all along, you know. So the the tension wasn't like because because she seemed like oh there's something you know she's you know it, the the it it looked like she was shocked that he you know she was scared he would find out but you know I mean it's probably a maybe relief that it's worked you know the the yeah so it's just very very nicely done. And, yeah, and we have the thing, you know, I, I will need more blood. How much? All of it. And, yeah, I, I, very, very clever, the thing, you know, you just let him escape. He didn't escape. And, the, the yeah, you know, Colson said to Fitzsimmons, stop trying to keep Daisy out. Uh, you know, it's, it's much like Fetch, it is not going to happen. So, you know, at the time it sounded like, oh, you know, he's basically just given up. But no, it was actually because he realized, you know, from, from talking to May, who was, you know, looking at what, how Lincoln was responding, to, to realize, oh, if we leave Daisy, if, if we let her stay in the system for a while, she's going to think that she can get Lincoln back, and that's going to give us an option to get just, yeah. And Lash versus High, so cool. It's just, yeah, um, you know, the, the door opens, and Hive's got the smug, self-satisfied smile on his face. And then Lash proceeds to wipe that right off his face. Absolutely love it. And it is this thing of yeah, I mean, they are pro they are they are the two most powerful in humans, at the very least that are still alive, you know. And we haven't seen them fight before. And it is this thing of yeah, that you know, we've seen Hive heal from really ridiculous stuff. But Lash can do significant damage to, to the inhuman body. And, you know, you have the, the detail about, you know, well, how did you know wouldn't attack Daisy? He's had, Lash has had chances to. Each time he's chosen to not, like, really... Yeah, you know, he's, he's tried to escape from her, but he hasn't, like, taken action to, to hurt her. And, yeah, and I will say, you know, when Lash approached Daisy, there was, like, until it became clear, I didn't realize that he was just going to remove the the sway, as they're now calling it. I thought he would act, you know, I, yeah, it wouldn't really have made sense, so I'm glad they didn't do it, but it looked like he was going to, to try to, to kill her, but yeah, he he gets out the the sway and says you're free, and you know the, the they theorize briefly he's maybe he's meant to to kill Hive, but he was meant to save Daisy, and you know now that she's been able to to debrief, which Lincoln in particular has been looking forward to. That means that, you know, they know a lot about what Hive is doing and how. So that's a major win. And that is it. So, yeah, uh, some IMDb trivia for this episode. The newspaper article that Colson reads about the death of Peggy Carter was written by C. Fryer. Chris Fryer was a production assistant on this episode. The plot point of registering inhumans is similar to the same type of event discussed in the yeah, X-Men film franchise when the government wanted all mutants registered and put on a similar type of list. Let's see. Yeah, and then it goes on to point out about the that both are Marvel, but that was Marvel under Fox. Let's 
see. <laughs> At the time of this episode's airing, the fate of the television series Agent Carter was unknown, with several outlets noting that this could be a surprise meta announcement of that series cancellation. ABC officially canceled the series two days later. In the first scene, when the newscaster is talking about the events of Civil War, there's a lit up sign in the back of the bar that says Bucks. Probably a reference to Bucky, uh, who is sometimes referred to by Rogers as Buck. And. Dr. Radcliffe refers to the Inhumans he creates as primitives in the comic books, the Alpha Primitives were the servants to the Inhumans. And that is about... Right, um, I wanted to point out, I, I really like that Elena did learn some English to, to be able to talk to Mac, but Mac also learned some more Spanish. You know, there's a lot of American media where it's very much this thing of conservative Americans who think that if you are in America, you should be able to speak fluent American, which is not quite like English. And, yeah, I, I really appreciate, something, appreciate stuff like this that says, no, you know, we can, both sides can make an effort. And... I think that might be. So yeah, a um, couple of lines that I wanted to. Yeah, um, I. Let's see, yes. Um, next episode I cover tomorrow. Yeah, uh, a couple of lines I really liked. James says. Seriously, who follows a stranger down a dark alley dressed as pups? I mean, on principle alone, I can't let this end well for you. Why do you think this lash can defeat Hive? And who in tarnation names these things? And... Let's see... Yeah, and... Do you have any idea how to stop him? I mean, you make him sound in invincible. Calm down, General. You'll pull something. Calm down. This isn't an end-of-the-world type deal. Don't you tell me to calm down. I'm the one that tells you to calm down. How are you so calm, anyway? I'm getting used to this sort of thing. 